know about this one, guys. As you guys can see, I'm pretty strapped out. I'm gonna be using all the handles in this thing. I'll be using this one, this one, but we'll just be holding on for dear life. But right now, we have great news. The seatbelts just came in as I was taking the car out. So that means we could get the interior together today. We also went ahead and painted the welds on the frame rail yesterday. So we can also throw on the apron today. And it's gonna be a pretty exciting day. After that, it's pretty much just gonna be assembling parts and the interior is gonna be done so we don't have to worry about it. And I'm pretty stoked for it. So let's go ahead and also take this car out for a test drive right now. And that's what we've been wanting to do. And I mean, I'm pretty strapped down. Uh, I don't know about you. This is our first test drive on the car. We're not gonna obviously rip it yet because we have a bunch of parts. Yeah, yeah we have the light back there, which is expensive, but we're just gonna drive the car and see like what it feels like for feel now. For it, yeah. yeah, but this is the interior of the car. Um, the car, this car did come with the OEM carbon fiber trim as it is a 3LT. It's a fully spec uh, C7 and it's a Z51. So basically with the Z51, what do you get? You get a real um, vents, right? Yeah, you, you get blacked out trim. Yeah, you get the Z06 uh, lower uh, grill. Yeah, you get, yeah, so you get the blacked out trim and you get other accessories also too with the manual yeah you get the real rear vents yeah so guys okay so basically we have a fully spec'd out z51 3lt and we have this uh seven speed manual i'm not gonna say anything about you guys that drive automatic corvettes but if you if you're in the market for a corvette get a please manual. get a manual yeah. just get a manual just don't do even think yeah. about it get the manual do yourself a justice yeah. man. and get the manual okay so we're gonna go ahead the car only has fourteen thousand miles those are actual miles this car is literally like brand spanking new man. and we do have this amazing roof which is i don't i'm not sure if this is this, if this is like tempered glass or carbon fiber glass i'm not sure but it looks amazing does look amazing. and this interior obviously like it's a beautiful interior we couldn't be any more happy with this car and the build and it's coming along great we do have obviously the bose uh sound system as well and the car is just it's an amazing car and for you guys that want a secret compartment have the secret compartment so we're gonna go ahead and just like drive the car around see how it drives and stuff we are gonna have to take it for alignment because that tire the it had suspension damage which we obviously fixed but it's gonna have to get aligned and we do have the heads up display. So the test drive went pretty good. We obviously couldn't push the car too hard because of the alignment, but everything that we were looking for turned out good. Like that transmission shifts nice and good. That engine, I mean, it has power obviously. And also right now we got something special, which is the seat belts right here. As you guys can see, we did something special to them. We did change the color on them to match the exterior of the car. They're a little lighter, but we still are digging them. And we're going to go ahead and install them for you guys right now and put the entire interior together so that we don't have to worry about it later on. Also, another thing is that we got the welds done. As you guys see this beautiful, nice thick weld right there. That, th that sucker is far thicker than the OEM one. But, I mean, it's better, stronger than smaller. So, we're not too mad about that. And also, went ahead and painted them black like the OEM. Like so, the we OEM do have welds. an OEM look, right? Right here? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And I also, well, they're both painted black already, you know, the apron's ready to go on. Obviously, before throwing on the apron, I'm gonna go ahead and test fit so that when I do throw on the glue, everything just fits and fits right where it's supposed to be, you know? Because once you throw that glue on and that cure time is going, you do not wanna mess up on that fitment because the fender relies on it. And when the fender relies on it, then you don't want that hood gap to fender to be all messed up and out of place. So it's definitely something very important to worry about, but we're gonna go ahead and get that knocked out today. Be also, that's not gonna be after the interior. So we're gonna go ahead and move over to the apron once we're done with the interior. And that's pretty much it guys. So let's get to it. All 
All right, so we got the interior put together. We're pretty excited now. Now we don't have to worry about the interior and we can just focus on putting the car, its front end right back together. But let's come take a look at this interior that we put. Nicely together, look at that, check it out. Seats are in, everything works perfectly besides obviously the buckle issue, but it's not that big of a deal, honestly. It's livable and all the trim pieces are back and the interior is looking mint. I mean, as you guys can see, this thing looks very clean, very fire. Now all we gotta do is just go ahead and move over to the front end. And Well, this thing looks nuts. I mean, pretty excited to throw it on. Look at these welds, man. Yeah, the welds are pretty sleek. Whoever was laying these welds was in their bag, bro. I mean, this thing looks sick, dude. I cannot wait to throw this in there and then just that first startup with that brand new AMS oil. I mean, if you're not going AMS oil, what are you doing? Seriously. With that brand new AMS oil and this beautiful sounding exhaust, we're really stoked. And we also have some more content in mind for you guys, so make sure to stay tuned for this car. All right, so we got the exhaust out of here. And as you guys can see, this old, these secondary resonators right here, I mean, just look at them. These things are restricting a lot of airflow. And right now we have these, which are about to be installed into the Corvette. They were kind of a little tough to get out just because, you know, things like that get stuck, especially when they're on with um, a lot of strength, but we were able to get it out and right now we're about to install these bad puppies which have a lot much more airflow it's a way bigger pipe and it deletes the resonators so it's a lot much more airflow and maybe a little increase in horsepower you know especially after a tune so this thing is going to sound awesome and it's going to free up that sound a lot much more bro bro wait, wait wait should we turn on the car just to see how it sounds like yeah sure let's go ahead let's get it in so right now there's no x pipe on it so basically the car it does have obviously the primary uh cats so we're just gonna see what it sounds like for fun real quick so that's what it's looking like guys right now i'm not sure if you guys can really see that's what it's looking like right now so we we're missing the entire x pipe and just for fun we're gonna go ahead and give the the car go ahead and start it up let's see what and this is a cold start this is a cold start yeah I'm with no a car yeah and all day with no with no x pipe so nothing yet. yeah all right go ahead give it a rip I've never taken one of these off and it already looks annoying so so this x5 didn't come with the with the with that part no you have to swap it over so it looks like it's gonna be annoying i've tried taking these off before and i failed miserably because i didn't know how to but obviously this one is off and right here so i could easily access it but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take this off right now in a bit so we'll give it a shot and get that on here just so we can throw this x5 on and i already showed you guys i spoiled it yeah we test fitted the car so this is what it's looking like right now almost looking like a car the bumper's not fully on yet we still have a couple details to to get down but we're gonna get them done right now and so we could take the car to alignment let's go we got two bolts done right here we just need two more and we're finally done then we're gonna turn go i'm gonna have my brother go ahead and turn on the car and then i'm gonna go ahead and check for leaks right here on this joint right here on this joint and then on that lower joint i already threw on the exhaust sealant so we should be good to go and well yeah um everything should be a-okay and i'm tightening these down 
not to a specific torquing spec but just tight enough to where i know it's like it should be tight you know like to where i can't really can anymore because i remember taking these off they were really tough to take off but we should be good to go all right guys so the pipes are installed right man yes sir they're ready to go all right they're ready to go so he's gonna stay under there to check for leaks i'm gonna go ahead and give it the first start so this is gonna be the first and technically still a cold start so it's gonna be the first start with the x pipes on so let's see how she sounds all right guys so um I, you guys heard that the car definitely sounds louder a tad bit louder i would say like anywhere from 30 to 40 percent louder sounds amazing but what's the bad news there's definitely some leaks in here we definitely have leaks so we're gonna have to go ahead and uh keep tightening and or use more jb weld if we have to on those leaks but it's good that uh my brother thought of this of doing uh of checking for leaks first before anything so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get that fixed he's tightening it out he's cutting out the trenches dang Oh. Yeah, it's crawling out the trenches. So everything's on there, no leaks. Everything's perfect. So we're gonna go ahead, get the car off the lift, throw a couple bolts on that uh, bumper. We're still not finished with the car, it's just assembled for now. We're gonna go ahead and do an alignment and then get back here and, and finish the car.